Coach Simmons, you finally got game one uh, under your belt after 600 plus days off. Just talk about your overall evaluation of the team. Well, you know, first off, it was very exciting to be playing again. Uh, it's been almost two years since we've been able to take a field for competition. And so just the, the atmosphere, uh, the pageantry surrounding the game, um, seeing the bands marching, the cheerleaders, the fans, it was a great feeling. Uh, and it was a great football game. Two really good football teams, uh, two phenomenal defenses, a lot of really, really a lot of star power on the field. Um, obviously, the outcome wasn't what we wanted or expected, but again, in football, you win some, you lose some. You know, so for us, you know, we'll take the good part, which is the fact that we're playing football again, and uh, we'll learn from the bad. You know, things that we didn't do well, and uh, we'll get ready to get better this coming week. But all in all, great experience for our guys, and uh, looking forward to the next time we're able to do it again. Coach, your defense only gave up one touchdown. Uh, just talk about how good that was against a high-powered team like Jackson State. Well, I've been saying it from the beginning. I, I think this defense has a chance to be special. Um, a lot of great players. Um, I love what we're doing schematically. You know, and so I, I think we have a chance to, to have one of the most dominating defenses in FCS football. And, and we showed that uh, this past Sunday. So it's just about consistency now. You know, We've shown that we can play at a high level. Now it's about continuing that, cleaning up some things. We still have a couple of things to clean up on that side of the ball as well. But I couldn't be more impressed with what we saw, what we showed defensively, holding a team like Jackson State to seven points. Special teams, you had uh, both ends of the spectrum. You had uh, made field, two made field goals, had a block, a field goal block, but you also had a great punt return, I mean kickoff return with the reverse. Uh, just talk about special teams and where you plan to go from special teams. Well, I thought we performed well at times. Um, you know, the two field goals that we, that we made executed perfectly. The one that got blocked was poor execution across the board. You know, so we have to clean up the details in that phase because we do have a kicker that we feel can make it from long distances out. Um, I thought we punted the ball really well as always. Uh, the one return, uh, we hit the ball the wrong direction. You know, so again, it's, it goes back to little things. So as good of a player as Chris Fadul is, he's the best punter in the country. You know, we, we're depending on that ball being placed exactly where the coverage is. And on that particular one, it wasn't exactly where it needed to be. And so he'll get better at that. Obviously, that's not something he does uh, hardly ever. You know, so I know he's kicking himself, even though he averaged, again, 46 yards per punt. Um, the expectation is perfection. You know, he's the one that holds himself to that standard. was really uh, pleased with the kickoff return. I thought we did a really good job, and I thought we covered well. You know, so all in all, uh, I thought the special teams performed really well, aside from the one return, and then obviously the uh, the block field goal, which ultimately you know came down to, to costing us the game. Well, coach, when you think of Willie Simmons, you normally think offense, and so offense was not quite up to your expectation, as you said. And there are some things you need to clean up. Just talk about the offense in general. Well, you know, obviously the, the, our offense is built on execution. And we didn't execute very well in, in that football game uh, from the offensive line to the quarterback position to across the board, you know. So I take that uh, responsibility on me as the play caller, as the head coach. It's my job to make sure that we're, one, coaching the details that need to be coached, that we're putting these young men in the positions to know what they're seeing. Um, we were surprised by a few of the looks that we got. And that's not the kids' fault. That, that's our fault as coaches. And so we'll clean that up. We'll correct that. I still think this unit has a chance to be very, very explosive with the receivers that we have, with the talented running backs that we have, and the talented quarterback room, inexperienced, but, but a very talented room. And so we have the pieces in place. Now it's just a matter of honing the skills in, you know, giving those guys the looks that they need to see on Saturday so they're not surprised by anything, and then allowing us to execute at the level that we, that we are accustomed to here, which leads to explosive well, yards and points and all the things that throughout the nation has come to expect from, from a Willis Simmons coach football team. And Coach, the uh, obvious question, uh, up until game day, pretty much you were unsure that there was not a clear starter uh, at quarterback. Uh, you went with Rashawn McKay, who has been stable in the past, very stable, won the overtime game against North Carolina a and won the game, played the whole game against Morgan State up in Baltimore, but looked a little erratic uh, with some low throws uh, in the game. Uh, Cameron Sapp came in. May, may have had probably the less opportunity, but you saw something else. And Junior Miratovic came in and kind of moved the offense. And I think everyone kind of saw uh, the receivers, Xavier Smith and, and Chad Hunter, uh, kind of get the ball where they needed it to be to make plays. Yeah, you know, obviously, um, you know, we, the receivers are dull, the rack balls for a reason. You know, it's run out to catch, you know, but to be able to do that, you need runnable balls. And uh, we, Rashawn wasn't as sharp, you know, as he normally is. Um, he's earned the right to start. You know, he's been in the program for a long time. He cares. He works extremely hard. Um, he's done all the right things, you know, uh, just got into the game and for one reason or another, didn't particularly execute at the level that we 
uh, expected. And I think a lot of it had to do with some instability up front. Um, it's kind of hard to get in a rhythm when you're constantly picking yourself up off the turf. And so we have to do a better job, no matter who's at quarterback, of protecting that position. You know, in 2019, we finished fourth in the country in sacks allowed, you know, and really first among teams that threw the ball more than 10 times a game. And so, you know, we've never had an issue with protecting the quarterback. We, had, we gave up three sacks the other day. So starts up front. We have to do a much better job in pass protection. Um, I thought we ran the ball well at times, you know, have to do that more consistently because those two things really help quarterbacks get in their groove. Being able to run the ball and then obviously being able to protect once we drop back and throw the football is what's critical. And so we'll, we'll improve at both areas. And uh, whether it's Junior, Rashawn, who I think you'll see again this season, or even Cameron Sapp, uh, I, I think we feel confident that the quarterback position will, will perform at a level that gives us a chance to be successful. And Coach, finally, a little, a little off the cue, uh, one of the Jackson State players who was a former SEC player says, I can't believe this atmosphere. I just love this. I'm, I, I really, really loved it. He was actually bleeding when he said it, and he was just so overjoyed of the atmosphere of a SWAC game of that magnitude. Just talk about the HBCU experience and the SWAC experience. How is it just different? Well, I think the game, I thought the game was everything it was built to be. You know, a uh, revival of a, of, of a classic that's been around for a very long time, two storied programs, uh, a lot of anticipation you know, due to the fact that we're FAMU's into a new conference now and hadn't played football in over a year. And so I think it lived up to all of that. You know, so for those guys that took the field that day, whether you're coming from Power Five institutions, Group of Five, Division Twos or whatever, it's a different feeling. You know, and that's what makes SWAC football what it is. Every week you have those type of atmospheres, whether you're home, away, or in a neutral site venue. Uh, it's just electric football. So excited to be back in the conference. You know, obviously we, we knew our work was cut out for us. Everybody, we're going to get everybody's best shot. You know, that's just what we expect here at FAMU. We're going to get everyone's best shot, so we have to be prepared for that. But uh, with this group that, that I've been around for the last four years, uh, I know we'll bounce back. And the last question, Coach uh Fort Valley State got a big win this weekend over Tuskegee. Kind of shocked a lot of people. Uh, what do you see in uh, the Wildcats that the Rattlers are going to have to pay special attention to? Well, I mean, they're well coached. Uh, they play extremely hard. You know, they're opportunistic. Uh, they cause some turnovers, you know, Tuskegee. And uh, so, again, they'll come in confident. You know, they just scored 30 points and shut Tuskegee out. We just won the game and lost and didn't, didn't find the end zone on offense. And so, defensively, they should come in with a lot of confidence. So, it's a great challenge for our offense to see if we can respond. Uh, they scored 30 points, so now it's a great challenge for our defense to see if we can, you know, have the same type of success this week that we had in the last game. So, uh, again, looking forward to it. It'll be great, a great home opener here for us. Uh, looking forward to a great crowd here at Brad Memorial Stadium in our first game in almost two years here in, in, in the mecca of, of home stadiums here in black college football, and I can't wait to get it on.